make sure that this continued and the best way to do that would be virtually and certainly it's been a challenge for us but it's been a challenge that I think we've met in a fine fashion and that we have over 750 students to be uh, registered in the camp along with 120 directors plus. And so one thing we wanted to make sure no matter how many people we had here we wanted to make sure it was a good amount for the size band we had. So we only had and allowed no more than 14 people inside the band room. Made sure that we practiced social distancing uh, throughout the rehearsals. Uh, and matter of fact, we really didn't get together officially until Tuesday because this is real. And we want to make sure that we take those uh, precautionary measures to ensure everybody's safety. Virtual band count, I would say, was extremely difficult um, on my behalf because I spent a flag being inside of the building or inside of the house. So preparing for us to spend flags was a little difficult because everybody had to transition to be outside. Um, really, I should just been doing Caitlin's and teaching her the fundamentals of how to hold just this place. This. And we had yesterday Terrence Majors uh, on his own teaching her with not with professional and stuff like that. We thought would it, be, it would be important to continue this legacy and so we just put all of our brain trust together with Ralph John Paul, who's the coordinator, and all the members of the band staff, as well as the students here uh, in the Incomparable Marching 100, to set the same kind of template that we would use uh, if the students were face-to-face, -to, -face, to include all of the sectional rehearsals we have, to learn uh, the drill that they would learn with all those R&B pieces, to learn a full dance routine that I think is about a minute and a half, to include master classes, to include interaction with our faculty and staff. So one thing about the family band is that we are very personal. This time, since we can't have actual full sectionals, we have the breakout rooms. And that's the perfect time to actually get to know each and every one of the campers, regardless if it's 20 versus 50. Um, I would say it definitely do well with the sectional that we have. What's next for the band? Just gotta get ready a month from now. Hopefully, get ready for some pre-drill going. It's 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 hard for me to really say what's next for the family band because the family band is unmatched. This has been something very positive, but we certainly hope that everybody will consider being creative and using this as a vehicle to connect and communicate with others and share the learning. That's most important.